Hey guys, it's Mrs. Johnson. This is for the White Group. We're going to read our News 2 story for March. It was obviously created at the end of March, March 30th, because it is all about the coronavirus. So our title of the story is here, Coronavirus. We're going to talk about what in our story first. Many people are, many people around the world are sick. They have a new illness called the coronavirus. The coronavirus spreads from person to person. Anyone can become sick with the coronavirus. The coronavirus gives people fevers and coughs. Remember, a fever is kind of like when your body temperature goes up really high. And coughs, just like we do at school, we cover our mouths when we cough. Most people only become a little sick but some people become very sick. The coronavirus spreads fast or quickly. Now the coronavirus is a pandemic. What is a pandemic? A pandemic is when an illness spreads around the world. People think that the coronavirus started in China in 2019 but it has spread to many countries, including the United States. Leaders and doctors around the world are working together. They are working to stop the spread of the coronavirus. All right, to help stop the spread, here are some things that you should do. You should wash your hands often for 20 seconds or more. To get rid of those germs, you should not touch your eyes, nose, or mouth. That's how the disease, the virus, would get into your body and it would make you sick. You should call the doctor if you feel sick. If you need help calling the doctor, you could reach out to that trusted adult at home to have them help you call the doctor. And you should stay away from other people in public places. So right now we're supposed to be at home, but if you have to go somewhere, your parents have to go somewhere, They'll practice that social distancing. Remember, it's keeping that six feet away from other people so that you don't catch germs from others. Leaders and doctors worry about the crowds. Sick people can spread the coronavirus in crowds. Many leaders have canceled events with crowds. Leaders have canceled parades, concerts, and conferences, sports events, and more. So they don't want people, big groups of people, to be together, so they've canceled all of these events. Leaders have closed public places that have crowds. They have closed movie theaters, museums, restaurants, zoos, and more. Leaders have closed schools, too. Students are doing classes online in their homes, just like you guys are right now. Leaders do not want people to travel because sick people can spread the coronavirus to other places then. Airlines have canceled some flights. Cruise ships have canceled some of their trips. Many people are staying in their homes. So here in Indiana, we have to stay in our house for two more weeks. The coronavirus is a new illness. Because it's new, doctors are still learning about the coronavirus. They hope to stop the spread of the coronavirus soon. Then people can go to public places. Leaders can open schools again. All right, now we're going to talk about a person in the news. Some people you might be hearing a lot about in the news are doctors. Okay, you should call a doctor when you feel sick. Like we said, if you can't call the doctor, find a trusted adult. A doctor helps sick or hurt people. A doctor helps people feel better. A doctor may work in a doctor's office, a medical clinic, or a hospital. Okay, we're going to talk about the place from the news today. A place in the news. We're talking about the whole world. Because the coronavirus has spread around the world. The world includes the earth and everything on the earth. The world includes people, countries, continents, and different landforms. 
The United States is just one country in the whole world. Okay, here's a fun recipe if you guys wanted to pause and try to make the feel better brew. A few jokes. Some of you like to tell the jokes, so if you want to tell your parents a joke or two, you could pause on this page. There's another joke here you could pause and tell your parents. All right, I do want you guys to pause this. This is a tricky one, so our directions say choose the pictures that are not about coronavirus, so it's a little backwards. I want you to choose pictures that we did not read about, okay? If that's too hard, you can go ahead and pick the, video, the pictures that we did read about. You choose, but it make it more challenging. Choose those pictures not about the coronavirus. You can pause your video now and do that. All right, the next page. This one might be a little hard because it's on the computer, but you could pause it and you could work with someone at home or by yourself and you could look at each word and then look over here on the side and try to find the matching picture for it. Go ahead and pause your video and do that now. Okay, here's our review page. There are eight questions. I want you to read through these. If you need help reading them, I'm not gonna read them on here, but you could ask someone to help you read them at home, and then you could pick your answer from our story. All right, these were a few other puzzles. They're kind of hard to do, not on paper. So we are done reading our coronavirus story. I hope that you guys liked reading this and I'll be back to read your next one.